Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art and they want to take out the bar. And I've done it. It might not be perfect. And at first, I want to, we first sent it to me and go, really? That's pretty easy. I'm going to make a copy of it. You know what? I'm going to change my dud distance to uh, just like five inches. I always keep a copy of things so I can look at it. So this is relatively small. I'm going to go to Trace Bitmount Outline Trace Clip Art. And it's already done it. And I'm going to actually make my yellow box bigger. This is a case where I should have probably made my yellow box the whole page. Then I'm going to go to Object Order Back of Page. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. I've already done that. I want to go to Object Group and ungroup this. Now, normally you could take the black and move the black, but there's a lot of extra blacks. So in this, I'm, going to, I'm just going to remove whites because you always want to remove the whites regardless of what really white color it is, you know, for printing or especially in laser engravers. And there's a little bit of a hint of a piece of gray blob right there. And that's why there was some white there. So we're going to remove that. We're going to go ahead and remove all this gray matter. Uh, this is where we could probably now grab the black. And the gray matter isn't going to really matter. Ha <laughs> ha. Because uh, we can go back and kind of fix these spots. And I think we got them all. And you could make them black and do whatever you wanted to there, but that's not what the video is about. And then I'm going to left click, right click. And this is where they're having problem. You know, if we cut out, if we take a two point line and cut out this bar by drawing a line there, when you fill that in, it's still going to go there. So what we got to do is you can't just cut this off. Uh, I've already realized. So we're going to take this ear from like right there and like put it right there and give it a little bit of a curve. Um, probably right there, or right there and give it a little bit of a curve. And we can fix that later. Matter of fact, we can fix that right now so it won't cause a problem. And now to make sure it works, we can take the smart filter or the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Whoop. We actually need that. You know what? We're going to need that other line too. I deleted that line right there. So we're going to just see how this works when we fill it in now. So we're going to use the smart fill tool on black and that worked. Now we can do his eyes, the eyebrows, his eyes, that other little part. Whoop. But the part is right here. There's no, um, Earlobe. Um, they're just got a line. And so how did I do that earlier? Let me uh, let me back up here. Let's fill in this part. Nope, that's not what we want. So that that's why I originally thought this was so easy, and then I realized, you know what, it's not. Um, we could probably take this line. Of, well, that's actually, so whenever that happens like that, you can go to object. Well, let's try this. Let's try selecting it all. Go up to object. Nope. I thought it was a curve, but it's not. So now I gotta figure out what I did earlier. Let's say, let's delete that line. and delete that line. What is that gonna look like? Yeah, there, well, yeah, this is how I did it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and fill all this in even, even though I'm filling in it prematurely. So what we're gonna do now, let's just back up before I fill that in. Because what we can do now is what I did do, and I just forgotten it. We're gonna probably lose these two, but take your shape tool and just take this peak and just bring it up in here. Matter, matter of fact, maybe we're not going to lose those. Yeah, that'll work. And then I would take the smoothing tool 
while you're right here and kind of smooth that out. You know, there's a couple, I'm just barely touching it, just kind of smoothing it out. Now take your virtual segment delete key and delete that and that so it leaks together. Now the other side, we're going to take this part, take the smart uh, shape tool and just take that point and just bring it up. And then at this time is where you can delete that node. Well, you don't want to delete that node until we smart fill it later and we can fix that. Now let's see what it looks like. So take the smart fill tool, fill that in. That's what we want. That's perfect. Now we've got kind of like a square ear there. So now well, let's do one more smart fill. Now what we're going to do is let's, let's uh, nudge the smart fill over all the smart fills. That way we can work on, and what that did, it made solid lines. And there's one more. Now let's look at this thing in a hairline. Left click, I'm gonna make it in red. And now you can use the shape, it's late at night, I'm ready to go to bed. You can use the smoothing tool. See, before we couldn't do that, and since it's a bunch bigger, we're gonna make it a half an inch. And you could smooth that out now. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Go to object. Break the curve apart to let the smoothing tool work. There we go. So you could you could do that. You know, go through here and smooth some things out. Um, I think his ear actually needs to go. And this will be a good little lesson. Hopefully this will work. We could take that node and put it up there. Then just take that node and put it up there. And then just move these parts around. I think it will make his head look better. But we did get rid of the bar. Uh, it is a good graphic. It's clean. Uh, I should normally zoom in when I do that. Anyway, I hope that helps the person I'm trying to help. And then always right click, no outline. That looks pretty good. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.